Hi, good evening. Welcome. We'll start the press conference. Uh, one question per person. Give your name and your media. Hi, Luca. Uh, 23 titles with this badge, wearing this badge. Uh, some amazing nights with Real Madrid. What's your feeling? What's your opinion? How does Luka Modric feel before tomorrow night's game? Well, uh, uh, good feelings. Really eager to get going. Can't wait for it to get started, the game. Uh, we need to enjoy it. Uh, live every minute of it. Enjoy it to the full. Uh, what we're doing at the moment as a team and achieving. Uh, these games are like finals themselves. It's a massive thing and you have to enjoy every minute. Um, so yeah, I feel good and I feel excited and can't wait to get going. Hi Luca. Uh, Guardiola said that uh, his legacy would be great if he won the Champions League with City. What is your legacy uh, to this generation of players? You've won, five, you've won five European Cups. I think that all these titles that I've won, I think that speaks for itself, you know, it says a lot. But also, uh, the effort that you make, you know, how you behave in the training every day, uh, apart from everything that you win, you know, you can't win everything all the time, can you? Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but I believe that uh, what we do uh, and how we carry ourselves as a side, um, even when we don't win, I think that's important as well, you know, you can't win all the time. But titles do speak uh, when you win Champions League titles, uh, cups, leagues, everything. It's something which is uh, uh, makes me happy and proud at the same time. Uh, proud of what we've done as a group and what we've achieved. Um, and the fact it's been over a few years as well, it's, it's something to be proud of too, and to admire as well. So we're happy, very happy, everything that we've achieved and done at the club. Hi, last year, before the final in the Champions League, uh, Ancelotti said uh, he was nervous before games. Uh, and he would look at you guys, the, the captains, the veterans, the experienced players, and that calmed him down. When you look at when you look at each other, what do you see? And what do you see when you look at Carlo as well? Because he's won one or two things in his career as well. Well, like he said, um, we've played many times together and we've played this type of game many times, semi-finals, finals. And what I see in my... In my manager and my my teammates, I see confidence, calmness, tranquility, faith in ourselves, faith in our ability, our character, our, our skill, our qualities, and that's what I see every day, not just on big games, and that's what I see today as well. So I hope that we're going to uh, put in a great performance, have a great game, and get through to the final, which would be amazing and impressive. Hi, Luca. When you were going to play in Kiev in 2018, you spoke about if you won that third Champions League on the bounce, that would almost be a certain mystique. Um, it would give you a real winning mentality. This would be your sixth final in 10 years if you get through tomorrow. And it might even be leading to the sixth champion, um, Nacho, Karim and Carvajal. Um, what, how much does this option of winning the six, do you get excited by it? What do you have in your head when you're so close to the six final in 10 years? What do you feel? Yeah, of course, yeah. I still remember uh, that chat and that video that, that Zizou put on for us uh, before the Kiev final, uh, talking about a dynasty, and we managed it. We've created that dynasty. All those things that you just mentioned, you know, you have all this stuff in your head. It gives you an extra motivation for sure. But only by playing can you achieve these things. You know, simply playing these type of games, representing Real Madrid, that, that's enough motivation in itself. Without extra stuff like trophies, just the mere fact that you represent the team. 
but knowing that you're close to touching another final, being in a final, getting there, you just want to give everything you've got, you know? So for sure, uh, it can give you an extra touch of motivation, yeah. Certain moments during a game, um, you know, it gives you that little bit extra, give more than you think you were capable of. But but it's very important that we're close to this target and close to doing something historical. Historic, sorry. Hi, Luca. I'd like to ask you about Kamavinga. Uh, will it be 100% tomorrow? And another question, uh, his position uh, on the field. Uh, Kama, uh, Kama doesn't like playing left back, really. Uh, do you prefer him uh, left back or in the middle of the park? Well, I think I think he's okay. I think he's going to train with us today. Um, that's the key, really. That he's that he's good. About his favourite place, his position. I think since he arrived with us, he's grown as a player a lot. This year, he's really demonstrated that he's he, he can do both roles very very well. He could do the left back role, where he's helped us out quite a few times this season. And in spite of him not liking it quite as much as he does in midfield, but I think that he's a kid who you can put anywhere. You know, he's going to do well wherever you put him, like he has been doing all season. Uh, wherever he plays, I think he's going to perform well, and that's the key for us. His his football, his ability, his his character on the field as well is key for us. He's a top lad. I'm really happy for him what he's achieving. Since he's arrived, he's, he's grown loads as a player and he's still got loads of time where he can improve Luke, his I wonder if we can have a few words uh, in English for BBC. Um, you've talked about your time at Real Madrid and winning this, this competition so many times. Can you describe the feeling within this group of players when you reach this time of season with Real Madrid still in, still in this competition and this kind of force of nature that Real Madrid comes can you describe that for us no it's uh, first of all it's a great feeling to to be in this kind of games we feel we feel comfortable playing this kind of of matches we know that uh, champions league is a competition that historically real madrid always like to play they always preferred it's a competition that we that we like and uh, that's why we feel we feel so comfortable uh, playing this in this competition and this kind of games, and that's why I think uh, we won so many uh, titles last years in this competition because we feel comfortable. Uh, we believe in our quality. Uh, we know that history of club oblige you always give gives give maximum in this competition and try to win it as uh, many time you are you are playing and i think these are the the reasons why we are why we are playing well and feeling so good in in uh, in champions league Karim Kroos you are a great example for young players uh, coming to Madrid, how you can manage a game like tomorrow, um, the sort of game that you're going to experience. Uh, and we saw how Rodrigo and Vinicius are really making a step up now and helping you to re resolve situations in games like this. Do you think Rodrigo and Vinicius have something different about them, something special, in spite of their age, their young age? They, they, are, they can win games on their own almost at this level yeah without a doubt I think uh, they've shown that already last year that they can um, win games for us with their quality with their ability on the ball with their football with their, their daring attitude their confident attitude but I will say the main thing is the team here you know if we're on it tomorrow together and we all fight for one another as a team then, of course, one day someone like Karim will stand out, or Vinny, or Rodrigo, or whoever, or Fede. But the main thing is that the team do it together. And then we stick together, we fight as a unit, we help each other out. And that this atmosphere in which 
we, we have that we enjoy this kind of atmosphere in training every day you know we carry that into games that's the key we're very un we're very united uh, and that mix between youngsters and the more more experienced of youngsters like myself Adidas, old Sada from TV2 Norway um, you are part of a, of a great generation of, of football stars born around 1985 you were born then Cristiano Ronaldo also the same year uh, now you play with the next generation of superstars uh, with Vinicius who's born 15 years later you played against Holland who's also 15 years younger in your opinion what's what are the main differences between being a, a football superstar from your generation and, and the new generation that's coming up now? <laughs> Difficult question. Uh, I don't know really, to be honest. I think every, every era has uh, their, their own stars before, like you said, was uh, Cristiano, and uh, and others now there are upcoming stars that uh, like uh, Vini, like Haaland, like uh, Rodri, and uh, there is another many others that are coming and uh, will be future stars or some of them they are already stars of the uh, football and uh, but difference I cannot I cannot really read, really tell you maybe. In these days, it's more uh, uh, these uh, social things on uh, like uh, Instagram, Facebook, and these things. They are paying more attention on this stuff, like was not before. But yeah, uh, time is changing, and uh, that's it. But yeah, maybe this. Uh, uh, when you were injured against Girona, uh, do you think you might be missing out on these stages uh, and you've actually played the first leg? What, did, what went through your mind when you got injured? Uh, and the treatment that you did to, to be fit to play at this level of the competition, this stage of the competition? Well, we, we know my f state of fitness is very, very important to me. Uh, I got injured, I wanted to do everything I could to try and get fit again in time for these ty these kind of games, you know, the cup final, semi-finals of the Champions League, because I still remember 2015 when I got injured before the uh, games like Athletic uh, and Juve, I didn't want to miss out again those type of games, you know, because it hurts. So I did everything that I could. And we did something a bit different this time as well um, to, to, to recover. Followed the advice of one or two friends and it worked out well. And I've got back in time. A bit earlier than I thought, so very happy for that. And now, what's important now is that I feel good. I feel no kind of after effects from the injury, uh, can't really go any deeper into that for you. I think that's enough. I wanted to be ready, and I am. Thank goodness that I am. Hi. I want to ask you about what are your thoughts on the first leg? Uh, what did you take from that? Uh, and do you think... Do you think this might be a better uh, match than even the first leg last year? I think the first leg was first 20 minutes. We weren't quite at it. They were a bit better than us uh, in the game, but as the game progressed, I think we grew into the game. We played a lot better as the game progressed as well. Uh, we got on the front foot a little bit more, got forward further. Maybe we could have scored another goal, but they equalised and it ended 1-1 and we know that this one tomorrow's n n well we knew that that match was never going to decide the whole tie um, tomorrow is the return leg which is going to decide things we know also that we're, we're in good form we feel good we still believe that this is 50-50 I think you know it's even Stevens the tie uh, we decided on small details who's going to get through in the end who'll be going into the final um, 
This is a team between two great sides with lots of top players and I believe that it's going to be decided in you know the odd action, the odd play. It's all about sticking together and giving everything that we can, every bit of ourselves and hopefully that will be enough to take us to one more final. I wanted to ask you uh, those details that you talk about. Ancelotti has said that uh, Madrid is the team that looks after those tiny details best. Uh, what can they be, these small details, then, to get through to the final? Well, let's see tomorrow, you know. Each game has uh, a different story about it, doesn't it? You know? Um, uh, you don't know what's going to happen on the field, do you, before it happens? But as I said, be focused in every challenge, every tackle, every one-to-one. -one help your teammates out when they need it they're the things that are going to be vital and that's going to be key tomorrow uh, I think we'll be up for it and we'll be up to those situations and hopefully get to another final